Hey everyone, it's Ben here. I'm making this video for day four of the tendinous retraining therapy course with Drs. Powell and Margaret Jastrzeboff. I've been learning a lot from this course about tinnitus, hyperacusis, and misophonia. I've been making the video, reflection video, after each day. So in this video, I'm going to talk about misophonia, sound sensitivity, different kinds of instruments, hearing aids, sound generators, and counseling practice with Dr. Jastrzeboff himself. So we started with misophonia protocols. Uh, there's different types of protocols, different types of systems that can be used for treating misophonia. And misophonia means fear of certain sounds, uh, most commonly the sounds of someone's mouth moving or chewing uh, or similar irritating sounds like that. There's ways to address that via tinnitus retraining therapy. So we learned some other protocols for that. Second, we talked about the different instruments or devices that are used for tinnitus retraining therapy. Some of them speakers that you can have around your house, particularly in quiet places. Learning some of the nuances of uh, those different speakers and what kind of sound quality is best and what kind of sound is best and where to place them and how often to use them all based on the research of tinnitus retraining therapy and Dr. Jastrzeboff. It's kind of fun. It's a Zoom, Zoom course. It's pretty much all day, early morning until afternoon. And there's uh, about 20 of us in the course, which is great. So I'm, I'm enjoying it. Uh, we talked about fitting hearing aids for tinnitus and fitting sound generators for tinnitus. Hearing aids are used if there's a hearing loss, whereas sound generators are devices that are programmed with or without a, uh, sorry, without a hearing loss. And there's different ways to program those. There's a sweet spot where we want it to be loud enough to uh, have positive neurological impact on the hearing system, positive neurological changes, plasticity, but not too loud that it causes annoyance or disturbance. So there's a sweet spot there and we're learning the different protocols used and the different tools used to find that sweet spot ultimately to make the sound therapy optimized so that the user, the patient can wear it for months on end. And then naturally with the power of the brain and the body uh, via the principles of tinnitus retraining therapy, uh, we can induce habituation so that we're not perceiving the sound as often. We're not aware of the sound. It's been turned into much more of a background stimulus not something that our subconscious experience wants to fixate on because we learn it's not important and we're desensitizing it over time. And finally, we end, I ended the day uh, having a very small group. There was about four of us counseling practice with Dr. Powell Jastrzeboff. And uh, you know, we, were, we were really getting into it. He, he's a, a tricky patient because he's asking the tough questions. He wants us to be prepared for whatever questions the patients ask. He wants us to be prepared for some of the mental blockages that can come about understanding the tinnitus retraining therapy theory, the neurophysiological model for tinnitus. And uh, it was some good points there that he was bringing up. So I enjoyed that being having that you know, back and forth with Dr. Jastrzeboff. It's something that I wouldn't have imagined I'd be doing when I first learned about tinnitus. You know, when I was in graduate school and to now be you know, studying with doc Dr. Jastrzeboff himself and his wife, Margaret, who's also a PhD scientist, to be studying with them both, I feel, is a great honor and something that I'll be very proud of you know, for the remainder of my time working with him and his patients. So making this video, video number four, tomorrow is the last day and I'm pretty tired from the intense course. But overall, I know that it's going to be helpful for me with my personal project, Pure Tinnitus. And of course, more importantly, be helpful for those who are looking for high quality information to help. Thank you again for watching this video and I'll talk to you soon.